Which way? Will? What's our new course? I don't know. We know how they got out of Lemuria. We've eliminated the Malacca Strait, and yet... we've got nothing. I give up. But they're your parents! And I want to find them. But I can't keep dragging you all around the world on some wild goose chase. They're our grandparents! We want to go wild goose chasing! Yeah, we like wild goose chasing. But still, we've got no new leads. We're directionless. Dad? Something's just around the corner. I've got a good feeling. Aranax, do you read? This is Dolos. Good feeling, huh? I badly misread that feeling. Ah, William. Keiko, nice to see you. And your mm, delightful offspring. What do you want, Dolos? <laughs> My old college buddy. Always straight to the point. All right. I heard your parents are missing, William. Of course, I'm deeply concerned. As if. Is this going anywhere, Dolos? Only if you're interested in the whereabouts of dear Jacques and Catherine. Go on. Recognize this? Where? Where did you get that? Well, if you're interested, you know where to find me. Kiko. Turn the Aranex around. We're not actually going to see that... that... Con man? Cheat? Utterly detestable reptile? Just as fast as we can. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. See that figurine? My father gave me one just like it when I was Ant's age. This was my father's. Now it's yours, Will. I have a second identical one. They fit together. A symbol of you and me. A link between you and Grandpa? It must mean a lot. It does, but it went missing years ago. I'd give anything to have it now. So we'll get it back from Dolos. See that? It's underwater. When I lost mine, I was nowhere near the sea. So you think that's Jacques' figurine? Very possibly. And if it was lost after they left Lemuria, it could be one giant clue to where our grandparents went. Hey, Mom, how fast can this thing go? You're about to find out. Nice to see you, William. Where's the figurine, Dolos? I don't have it, but I do have its coordinates. So give us the coordinates. No. William, I take you there, then we make a deal. I don't like this. Something smells fishy. We're standing next to a fish market. This smells fishy on top of the actual fish. William, there's only one way to know if this leads to your parents. If you want me to show you where the figurine is, we do things my way. Keep coming. Hmm. What's his problem? He doesn't want to see anything that reminds him he's underwater. We're going on a submarine. He's frightened of fish, too. How can anyone be scared of a fish? This way. Oh, hey, watch out for the seat. You did that on purpose, brat. I'm over here. How are you going to show us where the figurine is if you can't see, Dolos? Just set a course for this location. I'll give you more when we get there. Hmm. 
What? These coordinates take us right to where three tectonic plates meet. Nothing like potential earthquake activity to add to the entertainment. We're here, everyone. Let's wake Dolos. <laughs> Fish! Uh, fish inside? Yeah, you met Jeffrey. The unpredictable, flesh-eating predator. And? Okay, he's not always unpredictable. How do we find the figurine, Dolos? <laughs> we need the rover. Dad, you don't really trust Dolos, do you? Of course not. So why are we going along with this? If there's the slightest chance we can find your grandparents, we have to take it. Then we're coming with you. That's way too risky. You know we'll follow anyway. Then there's something you both need to understand. If the figurine is your grandfather's, it might mean their sub was wrecked here. Or they've just broken down and are waiting for us to arrive. Of course. Rover's in here. And we're coming in the nights. No, no nights and no children. The Night's Kin things must be done my way. We go in the rover only. And absolutely, definitely no children. Well, you try and stop them. <laughs> okay, if children have to come, they must stay silent. Why do we have to use the rover? <sighs> Questions aren't silent. But what's wrong with the Aranax? What part of silent are you having trouble with? All of it, really. Silence is not on my list of special skills. I bet you're wondering what would make the list. Please, stop. Eyebrow dancing, fish training, binge watching monster movies, non-rhythmic stomping? Just answer his question. It's always less painful. Trust me. We need the rover because it will fit in there. <laughs> So we're going into a chasm where giant continental plates grind together. What could possibly go wrong? There's only minor seismic activity. But if things heat up, I want you and the kids out. Copy that. How can you possibly know where to look down here? Trust me. I'll need more than that. A lot more, or we go back. The photo of the figurine was from video shot by a deep sea drone. I've memorized the path. When we near the bottom, look for the roundish hole in the rocks. Your drone? None of your business. So, someone else's drone? Whose? Silence! You forget, I'm doing you a service. I recognize the figurine in the video. I remembered your story from college, William. And I reasoned the figurine belonged to your father. So you're doing this out of the kindness of your heart. I care. Sometimes too much. I think I speak for all of us when I say... <laughs> Is that the home? Yes, go through it. Look! Wow. Whoa, whale sharks. Biggest, hungriest shark in the ocean. <laughs> You're a bit scared of fish, right? Of course not. Well, that's lucky, because those remora sucker fish can cling to anything. If one got on you, Dolos, you could have a friend for life. <laughs> Silence, please! Where to next, Dolos? Near three triangular rocks. There, under the sharks. You'll all have to get out to find it. All right. But Fontaine, you stay behind and leave the canopy open in case we need help. Rover, this is Aranax, requesting situation report. Rover, do you read? Don't worry, Jeffrey. Just out of range. 
If you want to find a figurine, you'll have to get very close to those sharks. Closer? Closer? I'll start on this side. Hey, do I know you? Your brother's being attacked! Nice try. Jeffrey's gonna be jealous if you wear those fish home. Funny. Now how do I get them off? At a certain point in time, I'm gonna be more fish than person. <laughs> Something's definitely attracting them. Did you do something different with your hair? They must have a taste for whatever that thermal vent blasted all over me. Ugh, come on! No hint of anything here. Any luck, Ant? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, um, nothing so far. Ugh. Still looking. Ugh. Well, trying to look. Ah! Hey! Ah! Ant, hang on, I'll get you. No, Fontaine, I'll get him. Stay with Dolos. Dolos! I said... Silence! Dolos, come back! Dolos! Dolos! Forget it, he's gone. Let's find that. Daniels, this is Dolos. Do you read? Closing in on your location, buddy. Don't call me buddy. Okay, partner. Don't call me partner either. Oh, Dolos, we're gonna need some kind of name for our close personal bond. I will accept acquaintance. That's not really doing it for me. Are you in the rover? <laughs> of course. My plan worked perfectly. And the Nectons won't interfere? I've abandoned them with some sharks. Nice touch. I've thought of everything. We're going to be rich, Daniels. Rich! We sure are, buddy. Oh, sorry. Amigo. <laughs> You guys can't find something tastier? Aranax, this is Ant. Ant? Thank goodness. I was having trouble contacting you in the chasm. Well, I'm not in the chasm. A thermal vent blew me back up. And it's way too far to swim back down. Also, I'm covered in fish. Right, got you on sonar. A quarter nautical mile to my east. I'll meet you. Hmm. Got another signal, inbound. Who? It's on the surface, but no transponder signal. So no ID. Smells fishy. Aren't you covered in fish? This smells fishy on top of the actual fish. <laughs> Come on, you're nearly there. Think of the lovely money. Each dollar more lovely than the last. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> Daniels, I found it. It looks so incredible. Valuable. Ant must have been blown all the way up. He could be hurt, and it was all for nothing. Not even Dad's figurine. I can't believe I have trusted Dolos. Don't beat yourself up, Dad. An unlikely chance to find your parents is still a chance. Even when I didn't believe, I hoped. Good. You've always taught me to keep hoping. <laughs> Let's hope we can find Ant. And then Dolos. Careful, careful. One priceless fossil ready for recovery. It will take both of us to get this to the surface. Aim for the rover signal. Copy. Hello, fans. It's your favorite, most courageous, most handsome, and most humble monster hunter, Devil Daniels. Now, I'm live from the Indian Ocean with the discovery of a lifetime 
I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm about to unveil the biggest discovery in human history. <laughs> yes, a fossil worth millions of dollars. And yet, subscribers, friends, it's all about discovery. It's never about money. But register now for the online auction. Bidding will start the moment it's aboard. Drum roll, please. Ed, that mystery vessel? Hydrophones picked up some music from it. It's Devil Daniel's cheesy theme music. He stopped right above you. Ha, Dolos' silent partner should have been more silent. Also, should Jeffrey have a theme song? Now's not the time, Ant. We could at least start humming something. Ant. Fontaine, I'm just above the rover. Ant, I'm not in the rover. It's Dolos. He stole it, abandoned us. But we're okay. Swimming our way up. Copy that. Dolos is working with Devil Daniels. They've taken something big from the seafloor. Permission to use Dolos' fish phobia against him. Permission enthusiastically granted. And here it comes, folks. Get excited! Should I take Dolos to sick bay? Yeah, the garbage compartment's full. Retrieving the rover. Let's take care of Daniels. Dolos, where's my fossil? Answer me! My favorite subscribers, the Nectons. With their help, I flushed out an evil prophet here. Discovery means nothing to low lives like him. But now the fossil can go to a museum, free of charge. Um, I have to go now. I have monsters to face, and I may be some time. And this is where you fake the undersea photo. Faked? Such an ugly word, William. I prefer created. Nope. Faked is right. I borrowed the figurine from you when we were in college after you told me how it fits together with your father's. You stole it, just like the rover. Borrowed. When Daniels brought me the video of the fossil, I saw an opportunity. <laughs> just business, William. Nothing personal. It couldn't be more personal. Huh? Oh, I was going to tell you where your parents went once we were done. What are you talking about? If I give you the information, you forget about this unfortunate business? Tell me now. A shock and Catherine sub was detected four months ago, heading northwest from Sri Lanka. I was waiting for the right time to tell you. <laughs> There's that smell again. Why would we ever believe you? I have proof. Look. 
a printout from their transponder signal. It tracks their course right up until they went out of range. Looks authentic. And the timeline is right. Does this mean we actually have a lead now? It does. See, Dad? You were right to keep hoping. Ah, so you'll forget about my little indiscretion? Never. So, Will, what's the new course? Sri Lanka. Then Northwest until we find my parents. And so we begin two amazing things. Two? What's the other thing? Mom and I decided Jeffrey needs a theme song. Your musical, Fontaine. This is a perfect project for you. No. Come on. I've even started the lyrics. Great. What rhymes with fish are better than sisters? Oh, brother. <laughs> Poor Fontaine. No gift for rhyme. Fish are better than sisters. Cause they won't give you any blisters. Thank you.